honoured completely. I couldn't believe it. That's sort of wildest dreams come true. It's uh, so much more in depth when it comes to structure around the, the chest and the shoulders. It's sort of one of a kind. It's um, a culture, Savile Row's kind of, it's the root of tailoring. There are very skilled tailors who are at the same standard as Savile Row, but they've, they've started here, but they've branched off and they work on Wardour Street and Carnaby Street. And um, yeah, the root is Savile Row. Once that's done, that pushes rents up, other people come in. And the tailors, the big ones like ourselves, you can absorb so much. But the little guys, it was extremely difficult and it would be killing them off. They'd have to move away, which I don't think any other country or city in the world would do anything like that. They'd want to preserve what is a very historical street. It's an iconic street. And if you take the tailors out, it just becomes another street. I think if an area is needed, it can survive in the marketplace. If an area isn't needed, then it will be superseded. All of these areas were built on previous areas of themselves value, but as we develop, as we grow as a city, there is always change, and that's the great thing about cities, and that's why we like to live in cities. They're constantly changing and improving. I think that really the solution is let more housing and more other stuff be built um, so that rents can come down across the board and so they aren't fighting for survival. Um, but if, they are, if, if, if we have got a constricted supply, then we have to let who needs it most use it most.